say something about how we learn, more specifically about accelerated learning. It relates to your growth. It affects how you learn and your overall success at anything that you do, and especially in becoming an effective leader. Accelerated learning helps you to learn faster and remember more. We live in a world where the ability to absorb information rapidly and to think logically and creatively at the same time are not only important skills to master, but they're expected. And accelerated learning is based on the latest brain research. The reason it is so effective is that it is based on the way we all naturally learn. Accelerated learning unlocks much of our potential for learning that is largely left untapped. Did you know that you, on a typical day, use only 19% of your brain? Accelerated learning is very important, and it does this by involving the whole person. Using physical activity, you're going to find we're going to do that today. Creativity, it uses music, it uses images, color, and other methods to get people deeply involved in their own learning. Why does this work? Because accelerated learning involves the whole mind and the body. It's not just about the head, it's also about the emotions the senses and the receptors that we have. You will do this today by creating your learning. We're going to be using props, doing the work and getting feedback, and using positive emotions to determine the quality and the quantity of your learning. So why are emotions a part of this type of learning process? Well, I don't know about you, but I'd rather learn when it's joyful, relaxed, and engaging, rather than when learning is stressful, painful, competitive, and dreary. How about you? <laughs> the formal definition of accelerated learning is a multisensorial, experiential methodology to allow faster learning, longer retention, and immediate application of information. In other words, what we hear, we tend to forget. What we see, well, we tend to remember. What we do, we tend to understand. What you will learn today is not only leadership, but leadership that gets results. Leadership that's effective. You know, many times we hear companies complain or they get frustrated that they're just not seeing the leadership that they want or what the company really needs. What it takes now more than ever is effective leadership. Today's followers, they're very different than they were generations ago. People want to know that they are appreciated. They want to make a difference. They want to know that somebody cares and they want to contribute their best. Leadership is useless unless it is effective. What does effective mean? Well, the dictionary defines defective as causing a desired result. You see, leadership is about creating a winning team and turning your vision into accomplishments by engaging others, okay? So knowing that, what does it take for leaders to create satisfied and loyal followers to truly help them access their talents? Because that's what it's about. You want to help them want to achieve their best. And the answers to those questions, though, lie in the three principles of leadership. The first principle is the successful leader masters his beliefs. Now, before we talk about beliefs, we need to look at actions. Not every action gets you there, but it's the frequency of those actions that you take that makes the difference. Wayne Gretzky, former NHL hockey player, hockey great, he said, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Or Babe Ruth said, you know, I had more strikeouts than I had home runs. So how do beliefs enter into this equation? What I'd like you to do now is to write down three negative beliefs that you have about yourself. Then ask yourself these questions. 
what does this, what makes this belief negative? That's the first question I want you to write down. The second question is, how does this belief affect the people in my life? And the third question that I'd like you to answer is, how has your negative belief changed your life? You see, beliefs determine how you think and how you act in, in a way that is consistent with your innermost convictions. For example, beliefs determine your reality. So if I believe that I am not worthy, guess what? I am not going to act worthy. So if I think I'm not worthy and I act unworthy, guess what? My self-esteem drops. It becomes very low. I develop low self-confidence. Your thoughts edit out all the information that is inconsistent with your beliefs. And so you could have healthy, productive thoughts, but if they're not consistent with what you believe, the mind says, whoop, there we go. It's gone. <laughs> So your thoughts cause you to see the world in a very certain specific way. And those beliefs can hold you back. Ralph Waldo Emerson said that if you sow a thought, you reap an act. And if you sow an act, you're going to reap a habit. And if you sow a habit, you reap character. And if you sow character, you reap your destiny. He knew that all destiny comes from your thoughts. So when you change your beliefs, you change your life. Now principle number two is the successful leader knows that what you focus on expands. For example, if we focus on the problem, it's going to get bigger. Instead, focus on the solution and what happens? The problem gets smaller. Or when you focus on leaders who are successful, you will be too. You see, leadership success is a science where two things are needed to occur. The first thing that's needed is to make a decision to be successful right now, right this very minute as you're sitting there. Please make the decision to be successful right now. For every turning point in life has come from making a conscious choice. Be intentional. See, most of us achieve the status of leader, but not the state. State is totally different from status. Status comes from society. When I use the word state, I mean our inner space. Our inner space should be mature enough to handle the responsibility which we assume. Each one of us is a potential leader. The quality of leadership, though, arises from your ability to take responsibility for a particular organization, a situation, or a particular group with tremendous awareness and maturity. Yes, leadership is simply a conscious choice made by an individual to act out of a deep sensitivity and awareness to one's situation and surroundings.